Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I'm saying good morning because I just woke up, even though it's like afternoon. But today, you're probably wondering why I'm looking like shiznick. I look like a complete ratchet miss. I literally just rolled out of bed and set up my camera. Because I am going to a concert today, and I decided instead of just doing a vlog, but I'm going to do a vlog on top of like a video. So, I'm going to show you kind of how to get ready for a concert without overdoing it like what you need how you should do your hair like things like that depending on stadium or arena like because there is actually a difference there's a cover and then there's open sky I think we're going to a stadium so I'll just give you the different tips if you are going to a open stadium tour like open sky depending on the weather you don't want to do too much with your hair. Personally, I do no heat curls because that way you don't damage your hair, number one. Number two, the humidity and or the lack of humidity can destroy whatever you have done to your hair. So if you take like three hours to straighten your hair and then humidity happens, it's done for. It's, I'm sorry, your hair isn't done for. Unless you have like naturally straight hair and you just want to straighten it a little bit more. maybe. But it can also, your hair can get really oily. So I personally go with kind of like a curly hair. Not, no heat curls. So you can do pin curls or you can just wrap them up, stick them down. That. Or you can do the curls that I showed you in a previous video. Or you can do like that on top of like a headband or something that you can put in your hair. Like that won't like cover your head like a hat or something. But that way it kind of distracts from if you get oily so that way if you're taking pictures or things like that or help if you meet the person whoever it is now with jewelry I wouldn't say bracelets I wouldn't do bracelets unless they were those like they, those rubber kind of like that say things on them like for the concert like if you're going to a Fall Out Boy concert and you have like a wristband on then you can like wrap it Besides that, if you have earrings, I would stick with studs because you don't want things that can be pulled off or caught on things because you're going to be really close to people. Clothes wise, you're going to be in a closed environment, unless it's open room. It's not too bad, but you have to think about if it rains because I actually, I went to a One Direction concert and it started raining during the concert and I was so happy. I had like shorts on and like a flowy more not so like tight construction shirt because then if you get wet then you're like Ugh. if it starts to rain you want to feel clean still because you don't want to feel gross now it's September here so obviously it should be cold out or beginning to get cold no it's still really hot I would know this because I have to run the mile in gym class and I about die of sweat every day so I'm going to wear shorts and a nice shirt, like a nice flowy shirt because it's going to be evening time. I'm going to bring a slight cover so I stay warm in the cold, but I can take it off because I'll be in a hot arena. See? You just make sure you plan for it and you never overwear anything. Makeup, hair product, jewelry, or clothes. Bring acceptable shoes. I wouldn't per I would not suggest wearing flip-flops or sandals because you will be stepped on your feet will hurt and they're not really fun nice I mean they're fun cute shooters but they're not gonna be really fun after the concert when you have people stepped on your shoe stepped on your feet or your feet hurt because they weren't acceptable shoes I personally prefer tennis shoes so you want to wear something that's gonna make you feel comfortable and not restricted and but yet yeah. You want to wear nice shoes, you know they're not going to be pretty. You can wear bands or Converse, those are cute. Makeup. Don't put on a shit ton of makeup. When you're not going to the circus, you don't need to fit in with clowns. Okay, when you put on your makeup, you want to do something cute with your eye. Because your eye is the center focus of your face. That's what people are going to be looking at. People are going to notice you because of your eyes. You can do a lip and an eye. 
You don't need to put on a shit ton of concealer. You don't need to put a shit ton on foundation. Unless you feel really insecure with your face and taking pictures because of acne. That I completely understand. But if you don't have any acne and you don't have anything you need to cover up, don't cake it on. Because it's unnecessary. Because it's going to be uncomfortable. Because you're going to start to sweat and it's going to like... Oh, it's just going to feel gross and then your face is going to get even more acne because of it. And it's just like you're going to have fun. You don't need to like try too hard. Like you can put on a nice little wing or like a little bit of like shadow or like a nice lash, like butterfly lash maybe. Like, but you don't need to put on falsies. You just need to put on a little bit, a little bit of mascara because you're going to be sweating. It could rain. It's like gonna be a long night unless you have that spray the stuff that keeps your stuff on all night that stuff is good I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna get ready with you guys for my concert and then I will vlog at the concert so that you guys get to see Ed Sheeran yes I'm going to an Ed Sheeran concert it's kinda like my birthday present happy birthday Kirsten but no I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'll get back to you so, I've now taken a shower and I'm now going to, though I don't like to, I'm going to dry my hair because I don't normally blow dry my hair because, I'm sorry for the music, I just got out of the shower and I didn't turn it off yet, so I'm talking a little bit louder. <laughs> but no, um, I'm going to blow dry my hair and then I'm going to put my curlers in and then my friend's coming to pick me up because I'm going to help her get ready at her house. So, I'll just start vlogging then, but I'm actually after get my hair and my curlers. I will actually sit down and talk to you guys. Look who decided to join me. Oh, that's my baby. For a concert, you want to bring, if you're going to bring a purse, bring like a small one that you can keep around you. Where mine is a knapsack actually, and it tightens. So, I can just actually stick around like that, and then you hold on to it, and then you hold it. Because I hold it like that one, I hold it like that one, I walk and it pulls down like that. And that way, pit po pick pocket turps. Never put your phone, your ticket, your money, your anything in your pockets anywhere. Because it will fall out or if it's noticed, you can have it taken from you. And it happens a lot. Like I And water. Make sure if you can't bring a water into the venue or if you can only bring like one water into the venue, make sure you have one. And when you're there, make sure you bring extra money for water. Now, if you're planning on buying a concert t-shirt or something like that, make sure you bring at least $50 because shirts are usually around like $45 and then that leaves you some money, like $5 to buy a water or food or something like that. Do's and don'ts of a concert. Do get hyped. Do have fun. Do make sure of your surroundings. Always make sure of your surroundings. Buddy system. We'll pretty much just have a good time and like all that, but don't go to a concert that you don't like the person. Be the Debbie Downer of the concert. Everybody wants to have a good time. Everybody wants to have fun. So don't like, don't be that person. Don't walk away from your group. Don't don't spend too much money. Like I know that sounds stupid because you're going to a concert, you're gonna spend money. But don't spend all your money in the first beginning of the concert, like the second you walk in. So those are kind of my do's and don'ts for concerts. So just, if you're going to a concert, make sure, number one, buddy system, of course, because you are there to have a good time with your friends. Don't let something stupid happen in it. And just have a good time. Just have fun. Like, this is fun. You're going to see a person who either you have been dying to see for months or somebody who you just think is a really good singer or somebody who you're, like, super, like, Oh my god, I'm going to marry you one day. Like, I'm in love with Ed Sheeran and I'm going to see him for my birthday. Like, how cool is that? Like, you just enjoy yourself. Like, this is fun for you and your friends. Okay, so, Ed has gone from a drizzle to a slight rain to a complete downpour. Every time I go to a concert, it rains.